Welcome back. Boo. Birds. Uh. Uh. I know, a Simpsons reference. I got that one out of the gate. Now let's get going. To Let's Play Grim Fandango. Last time we picked up a thing of... Ah, Marillo de Oro. A very fine liqueur filled with solid gold flakes. That sounds expensive and also kind of stupid. It even says gold flake right on it. You'd be surprised. I've seen... You want to remind people you're so rich that you literally shit gold. I also have this, which is the note or that... Um, at least in that instance, piss gold. But. I also have this, which is the note that the um, resistance guy sent us. Calavera, it is indeed a great day for the revolution. Say hola to little Manny, the first enlisted messenger to serve the LSA. Please feed him some breadcrumbs and send him back quickly, so we may know that our maiden flight was a success. Thank goodness for those self-reading letters. Yeah, that's all we got on us. We were going back here, though. Because there's people back here to talk to. <gasps> a casino? I know. Who'd have thought? It's weird. So who's ah, this guy? my bread and butter. Thrill-seeking rich folk with a poor grasp of statistics and probability. Damn you, statistics and probability! I will have your head for your 80% chance of high quality, but still screwing up. I understand there's a 13% chance, but fuck you anyway. Not while they're losing. Le numéro gagnant, le 21. Rouge. An honest roulette croupier is hard to find, and guys like this? Even harder. Especially considering he speaks French in a kind of Spanish esque game. Everything okay down here? I'm going to need some more chips if Monsieur Lucky does not call it a night soon. Not Monsieur Lucky. Which I think is this guy. Police Chief Bogan. Rubacaba's finest. Rubacaba's only, for that matter. Madame and Monsieur, rien à plus. You know, some people say you should always walk away from the table when you're on a winning streak. Oh, yes, but I'm feeling extra lucky tonight. Les jeux sont faits. I Ladies swear and this is reminding me of something. A French a police bed, chief, a casino. Chill of Charlie in his regular booth. Ah, oh, does it remind you of anything? Not offhand. Mm. Mind if I sit down, Charlie? Of course not, Manny. I, I mean, it is your club, right? <gasps> we own a club? This guy seems like a completely like a completely upstanding individual. He's a completely legitimate businessman. I don't know why you would think otherwise. Right. So what are you doing in it? Didn't I tell you not to come back until you can pay your bar tab? Oh. <laughs> or they kicked me out of that cat track for printing fake betting stubs. So now I have to come here, Manny. Which I love. Which I love. How dare they kick him out for cheating. I know. How did you print fake betting stubs? With this. Isn't she beautiful? The last you know, I love I how he's quick to admit that he did it. <laughs> it has the show the most you dishonest the con man I ever met. He was strictly small time, and I managed to steal this from him quite easily. Thanks. You never know when this may come in handy. <laughs> hey, give that back to me, Manny. Maybe once you sell your bar tab, eh, Charlie? <laughs> <laughs> just oh, takes it from Manny. him. Manny. That was hilarious. <laughs> what else can you counterfeit? I'm sorry, Anything? I need a moment. It's just that. Did his arm just flicker weird? I don't know. I'm more amused by the fact that I just asked him, like, is there anything else you can counterfeit? And he said, nothing. Anything. <laughs> So can you make passports? Manny, you still think like a living man in so many ways. No I make soul a dead needs a passport. We are all citizens of the same nation, and our king rides a pale horse. So no passports. He also gets free no. drinks. No, that little hologram is so tricky, you know? <laughs> That's How about driver's stupid. license? <laughs> sure. Uh, just, um... Give me a recent picture, 50 bucks in uh, about two weeks, okay? When I think of something I need, I'll come back. Two I'm weeks seems a little much. I'm not wishing well, Manny. Why aren't you over at the roulette tables? The roulette is for lonely widows and Frenchmen. Why don't you get some slot machines, Manny? Everybody, old women, little children, they all love slot machines. 
And I have a system, an infallible system for beating them. I smash them with the hammer, <laughs> and then I just take all the money. I think slot machines attract an undesirable element. Oh, well, we're all undesirable, Manny. Yeah, also, but just kind of no feels empty. <laughs> all my friends are lonely widows and Frenchmen. Except me, Manny. I'm here to keep you sane. I wouldn't exactly call him a friend. Tell me your system, Charlie. I can't you? tell you my secrets. Sir. Yeah. Just this. You have to become one with the bandit, Manny. You you have to get inside the machine and, and make it one to pay. On second thought, stay away from my roulette tables. <laughs> and give me that hammer. <laughs> I don't trust nice you with suit. the hammer anymore. Where'd you steal it? Manny, if you learn to play the odds like Chow Chila Charlie. Then maybe you too can have a suit this fine someday. Well, I've got a club to run, so. Oh yes, please, Manny, get on with your glamorous life. I kind of don't care for either of their suits. I don't know. I kind of like Manny's suit. Uh, Manny's is a little too white for him. Yeah, I which wouldn't. Which is weird because he's a skeleton, but. Yeah, it's not dressy enough, but I think it fits. Like, it fits what he's doing here, which is that he's sort of a showman. Also, again, a sneaky guy who deals in fake documents I guess Gladys and possibly is good at anything that uses keys. Sounds good. I know it! N nothing's just coming in. Anything for you? Just, I don't know. Eh, that's gonna okay, annoy well, me until the end. Okay, well, we just spent a lot of time down here looking around and doing everything. There was someone waiting for us. So let's actually do something with the store. Oh, I want to take a oh, break. Oh, he actually calls it Cafe, too. Yeah, Calavera Cafe. Now with gambling. <laughs> um, I like the idea, looking at this, though, at how much he renovated the place. Because once you were inside, it was just a flat area. Yeah, if you go prior. back in, this whole if you go area in, this here... This was it. However, yeah. this staircase wasn't here. Yeah, no, he had the staircase completely built in. It was just and all those... And this... Didn't used to be dug out. Yeah. So, like, man, he changed this place up. That must have been quite good. pretty fast, too, considering that. I wonder if Gladys This has helped. been going for a while, because, I mean, come on. A year, and he has this all set up. Meiji? Manny, help me. I've been lost for so long. Why didn't you look for me? I did. You ran off. Why? Because you said I was no good. I've been all alone in the world for a whole year. And it's all because of you! This gonna be an annual thing with you, Manny? Every day of the dead, you toss your bones into the drink and I fish them out? I don't plan to be around that long, Velasco. As soon as I find out where that ocean liner's going, I'm after it. Ha oh, oh. ha! That ship's going to Puerto Zapato. That's the other side of the world. There ain't no ships going out that way but the old limbo here, but... But nothing. If the limbo's my only hope, then I'm already on board. Uh, well, good luck, son. That's all I got to say. So, in Purgatory, there is a ship named Limbo. Yeah. Also, secondly... It's a pretty rat-looking ship, too. It's yeah. this thing back here. And secondly, Zapata is a cool word. I have no idea what it means, but it's just a nice-sounding word. It's locked. I know, I locked it. Damn it. 
One of my favorite things about this game is when characters respond to things Manny says. Well, he says it out loud. They have yeah. almost the obligation to say smart-ass things back to him. But, like, when they respond to things he says that you don't think of as being something he says out loud. You think of he's saying this to the viewer, <laughs> so you know what he notices. Not that he's saying it out loud, but then people respond to him. Also, the moon is the skull. Oh, is the skull in the moon, so. Oh, I gotta run clear it down. Shone here. pale as bone as I stood there alone, and I thought to myself how the moon that, that night, night cast, cast its light, light on my heart's true delight, delight and, and the reef where her body was strewn. strewn. Kind of depressing. Yeah. Okay, how do I get on this boat? All right. So I'm ready to sail. On what? On the limbo, man. Let's go. Manny, Manny, Manny. The limbo's not a passenger ship. She's small cargo, son. And every hand on board works. I'll work. What are your skills? Sales and restaurant management. Oh, hey, there is one opening on the limbo's crew. Yeah? Yeah, it's in the engine room. And your buddy Glottis would be perfect for it, but he'd have to get his Darn own it. tools. Okay, if I get Glottis some tools, can we board? Uh, he can, yes. No offense, Manny, but there's just no place for you aboard the limbo. She's fully manned already. In fact, her whole crew's on board, ready to sail at dawn. <laughs> hey, you are you a crew member? Guy. Yeah. <laughs> oh! Okay, I see there's an opening now. Seaman Arrange is a little late, but he'll be here before they sail. Arrange. Well, we're just gonna have to make sure that doesn't happen. What job did By murdering him. I galley. mean... Aha, restaurant management. Yeah, murdering it's him. similar to what you're doing now. <laughs> Except the fish is fresher on the limbo. Oh, snap! What if Naranja doesn't he show at your place where you to know right that? Manny, you're not even in the Maritime Union. I know that, and you know that. But we're two guys who can keep secrets, right? Glottis is exempt, but the captain will ask for your card. And if you Wait, don't have one, exempt? we'll serve you to the demon. sharks like chum. Probably. And what's worse, I'll get fined. Get smart with That's a tough union boy, and I don't mess with them. What kind of tools does Gladys need? Authentic CB equipment only. CB? Where do I get authentic CB equipment? Why don't you ask a CB? Afraid of getting stung? <laughs> okay, now there are CBs in here. Where do you think Naranja is? Probably home selecting recipes for the trip. Maybe, possibly, perhaps. Yeah. So let me get this straight. If I get Gladys some tools, then I can get him a job on the limbo. And if Simon okay. Naranja doesn't show up for work, but he will, and I get a maritime union card, which you'll never get, then I can sail on the limbo in the morning. Jeez. I guess so. <sighs> What's going on in that bottle? A tugboat? This happens to be a perfect scale replica of the SS Lumbago. Just having a little trouble getting the walking beam to fit in the neck here. <laughs> that funny. Because a lumbago is usually more of a problem in the lower back than the neck. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nothing. I better go finish packing. <laughs> that seemed more like I the idea that, that he was just going to turn around and smack <laughs> him right in the face. Just... Psh, Manny, you know not to pull those puns on me. Okay, I don't think there's anything special we can do down here. Can you talk to the moon? Because that would be weird and funny. Nah, that's just a dock. You can try grabbing the moon. <laughs> Got it. What? Don't have that kind of equipment. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Special kind of equipment you need to grab the moon. Is he going to be an astronaut later in the game? Okay, so we need three things. We need CB equipment. For Gladys. We need a union card. For us. And we need the existing guy to not show up. Naranya. Okay, so to get some CB equipment, we should probably find some CBs. To get a union card, we should probably go talk to Chowchilla Charlie. Considering he can fake documents for us. And I very much doubt we're doing this legit overnight. Yeah, we're getting into a union overnight. That's not exactly something you do legally. And then it's just a matter of finding the other seaman and uh, getting him to not, not show up. up. Ooh, this is a nice little part. So this is an interesting 
chapter as opposed to year one, because we have a very large place to explore. And honestly, this one puzzle is our year two. This is it. That's eh, not that bad. It's the just, place is nice. Yeah, it's just a lot of area and a lot of stuff. So we got three places to choose from. So what do we do first? I don't know. Let's go this way. The blue casket. That's an interesting place. I kind of remember that. What was in the other way? I just forget what was to the left. I remember what's down. I'll go back to the blue casket in a second. I just want to... Oh, All right. the sea bees. Okay, so that's yeah. the dock. Okay, yeah, we'll go back that way in a second. Check out this blue casket first. Not that bad of a looking at building. Yeah, real nice place. The sign's a little weird. Ooh, place. it's a little cafe kind of area. Place with all of them hep cats in it. Oh god, the 50s showed up. Or were they starting in the 40s? I remember them in the 50s mostly. Hey, look, deadbeats. Boo! Hi, what's your name? Hi, what's your name? Just not even giving him the time of day. Very unresponsive crowd More here. More hipcats. Crazy. But don't you see? When the government fades away, so will our troubles. Ah, nonsense. We will always need some armed force to fight off the return of capitalism. That sort of fascist thinking is as dead as you are, comrade. When we get rid of all the guns, that's when people will begin to self-police. And the public opinion alone will keep them from committing crimes. Oh, God. Get well, away. It's Tumblr. <laughs> hey, look who's making the scene. It's Manny Calavera. The up, the down, the backside of the nouveau riche. Be it, dinner jacket. We're talking about things you wouldn't understand. Like truth and beauty. That's kind of a harsh criticism of what you understand. Yeah, and you can't really talk to him much either. Mm. But there's a microphone. Buenas noches, comrades. Hey, Manny, no offense, but we don't have time for establishment types like yourself. What makes you guys think I'm so establishment? You smell like bacon and oppression, man. Okay. What does oppression smell like? Bacon, apparently. Oh, there's a book here. Labor organization and revolt made easy. Ooh, can we steal it? Hey. Can I borrow this book? Why? So you can freak out our plans for organizing labor and go rat us out to your pal, Chief Bogan? Hey, I'm just looking for something to read on the can, all right? No dice, Cumberbund. <laughs> well, crap. Well, there's a mic up here. What's going on with this? I don't know what is Looks going like on Looks like it's this. open mic night. Oh, shit. I got Testing. some material to start. Testing. All right! Who's ready to rock and roll? Whoa, Cleveland! Maybe later then. Okay. Oh. oh, what do we got here? Yes, do the airplane food. So what is up with airplane food anyway? Is he trying to be funny? I mean, it's so small and not that good. There's nothing funny about being dead, comrade. Life is pain, death is worse. My oh, funny God, bone must have fell off in the hearse. Anyone out there know where I can find some tools? The only tool in here is you. Yeah, tool of the government. That was Monkey hurtful. Ranch of the man. It hurt my skeleton feelings. Who is this man? I don't know. Is there an Anselmo Naraja in the audience tonight? He's down at Toto's place getting carved. If he's not passed out under a dock somewhere. Hey, mm. that's actually a hint. Yeah, he's getting carved, which he's a sailor, and sailors like getting tattoos. So. And they're bone. Yeah. So... Carved is the, the the afterworld equivalent of getting a tattoo. Well, that's a hint. Kind of like this. Uh. Hey, can anyone out there help me get into the Maritime Union? Hey, we're into organizing labor, not sabotaging labor. Hmm. Also, this is a very weird set he's giving out here. Good Just evening. asking random questions. I like to read a poem. <laughs> the Nothing. Innerness. Unify. Rectify. Absolution. 
pointlessness. Fiddle dee dee. How long does this go on for? D and Gracias. Muchísimas gracias. Ah, we we'll let the snakes in here. I don't think they liked it. I don't know, considering there was a mass amount of Lola? snakes all of a sudden. What are you doing here? This crowd doesn't go much for souvenir pictures, except maybe of Lenin. Shh! Manny, I'm on a stakeout! I'm gonna prove to Maximino once and for all that Olivia's no good for him! Still hung up on Max, eh? Take my advice, Angel. Forget about him. He's a gambling racketeer. <laughs> like you. Oh, that hurts, baby. Yes, but you're a swab Shh. gambling Leave racketeer. It Come on, sugar. How about a kiss for the road? Oh, ick. Don't let me down, Nick. You're a lawyer. You're not supposed to have feelings. I don't, but I know a good tart when I see one. Hey! If Maximino sees that, we're going to end up in matching terracotta pots. Don't be silly. He wouldn't hurt me. He loves me. Uh. It's not you I'm worried about, it's kind of me. Manny, hmm. at last we're alone. Tell me, how are the bourgeoisie? Fine. How's Max? It's oh, a very gramps. nice meat stew. Don't start. What are you doing with a snake like Nick? I'd lay it on you, Manny, but uh, I don't think you'd get it. Are they boning? Messing Give around with me. your boyfriend's lawyer is pretty dangerous. Oh, maybe I was wrong. You do get it. So... She's because sticking it's it dangerous. Him. Yeah. I'm a little worried about Lola. That's because she's doomed, Manny. She fell in love with Maximino. That's the one mistake I never made. Do you think Nick would hurt her? Only if he finds her and take it from me. He's not good. Uh, she kind of got stuck on the wall there. <laughs> <laughs> Open mic night seems like a big hit. It always takes those timid souls a while to get up the nerve. I don't know, we were up there and doing pretty good. We yeah. got hissed at and we still did it. Maybe it would help if you went up there and started things rolling. Oh, Manny, read poetry in my own club? That would be Stuck like this whole again. place was just a big temple set up to worship me. You mean it's not? <gasps> How oh, could we okay. not worship not. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, that was quick. In earnest, unify, rectify. Hey, Absolution, wait a minute. Pointlessness, pointlessness. fiddle, D, D. That was the exact what? same thing you did. Why do they like it when she does it? Hey, you stole my bomb. Consider it an homage. It's kind of rude. A little dark in here, don't you think? Dark and cold, like the hearts of men. Uh. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh you know, we don't have hearts. I'm thinking of buying this place. Really? I thought about buying yours for a while, but then I just decided to ask my boyfriend Max to buy it for me. You can have it. I'm leaving town. Manny, you sound so exciting all of a sudden. Why are you leaving town? <laughs> Johnny Law, baby. You see, I'm a grifter. I'm bad news. Yeah, right. You're running <laughs> after that ghost chick everyone says you're still so uptight about. Well, yeah, but this I time I saw her. Just for you. Pay attention because it's pretty short. Here it goes. Ch uh, 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 uh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> wow, she kind of did that without moving her mouth at all. Hmm. That was kind of impressive. Hey, how about another boom? Okay. Alive. We slept. Life's, Life's just, just some rapid eye movement. In a warm, cozy bed. What a stupid way to say a dream. The flesh dream is over, Daddy. Now that we're all crazy and dead. Why do they like her crap so much? Because she gets it, man. <laughs> She's in the moment, man. Well, catch you later, hip chick. Keep practicing that lingo, man. You'll get it. Man. Maybe. Eventually. Possibly. Probably. Never. Can I go back in there? I don't think you can go back in there. I think she's blocking the way. Because there would be an arrow pointing into yeah. it. Um, you could at least attempt to go back there. Uh, before and maybe with tank controls on, you could like try to just walk back there or something. I like clipping around me. Now he just stops. But you could at least attempt and she'd stop you. But I think that's pretty good for today.
We've scoped out so far a... Got a hefty goal on our hand yeah, right now. Yeah, got a hefty goal. I don't... It'll take us a little while to pull that one off, but hey, we got all night. We Until next one. time, everyone. Uh, there's a door over here we're gonna go in. <laughs> yeah, we ain't going anywhere. Also, enjoy the cigarette, Hepcats. Oh, man, buzzkill.